friends, neighbors, and of course, the YouTube comment section. Hello, welcome back. So I got an order today uh, for a True One to PowerCon adapter cable, and I figured I would take you guys along on this just amazing journey of building this, right? Because this is like the most amazing internet content ever, right? Um, but the reason why I did actually want to shoot this video is I did a video a couple weeks ago showing uh, just some things about um, the, uh, the new PowerCon connector. So this is the NAC3FXXB slash hyphen W hyphen L output connector. And, uh, you know, just to have the, the new PowerCon with the, um, with the true one, I thought would be kind of an interesting, an interesting thing just to compare and contrast these connections further. Um, I've also learned some things. These are, I think you can break these now, uh, that you can, you can disconnect these under load, this, this PowerCon, um, per the comment section of the last video. Admittedly, the last video wasn't, uh, wasn't very well researched as with most things. This is kind of just a grip it and rip it sort of thing. Um, okay, uh, housekeeping, uh, new thing, just, you know, I guess me being not so new to YouTube anymore, um, I do have an Amazon store, so that if you want to buy, like, these tools and stuff like that, if it, I, I oftentimes get questions about that, you can buy them through, uh, through our, our great overlord, Uncle Jeff, um, and I get commission on that, so there you go, check that out, help, help, your, boy, help your boy out. Um, you know, further, further sales things. If you would like to buy this cable from me, you can. Just uh, buy it through LM. So LM cases, online.com. You can check the link right there, somewhere up, up there. Uh, and you can buy this cable if you want. You can buy connectors and stuff from us also. Like if you want to buy all the components and stuff. I'm trying to put like cables and things like that. So if you want to buy this bulk, I can just, you know, we, we obviously have it in bulk. You can hack it off a, a piece if you want to make your own, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, on to building. Sorry for selling you things. All right, let's start with PowerCon. Um, so, taking this off, I guess let's do these at the same time. We'll compare and contrast. Why not? Everybody loves a good compare and contrast video. Uh, back boots. These are pretty pretty similar. This one's a little bit tighter, you know, than uh, than this one. Both have a little rubber rubber guy back there. Um, so let's get our PowerCon on. That slid on. We'll get our little aerial refueling badminton net on there. Also, pop back our cable here. All right, so once our conductors are stripped back, or once our jacketing is removed and our separators are back, again, I'm sure that there, I know for a fact that there is a standard measurement on this. I use my thumb. Again, I build enough of these cables that I kind of know how long they all need to be. Um, and in case you guys don't use Billy's thumb as measurements, they should be around there. And why isn't Billy's thumb an NEC standard? I don't know. Write your local congressperson. And this guy has a little twist. Okay. So again, going from uh, the original PowerCon speak on, this is a Torx now. So L is black. That's your hot. Sorry, we're uh, getting a delivery right now. Our truck dock is right outside my shop. 
apologies for the noise as per normal, but if you guys are normal Billy subscribers, you know this. All right, ground. And white is our neutral. Okay, so once these are in, just give them a little tighten up here. Just make sure that everybody is behaved. All right, we'll slide this guy on here like this. There's two little grooves that these go into, and that locks in, which is quite nice. Put our top guy on here, threads towards the back. And then... This is kind of nice, it, it cinches this down and then we just bring our collar up. Ooh, this is kind of cool, this little guy is. Little spins. I'm sure that this has some way to say that it's tightened. And I actually did, actually as a random thing, I do have this guy that I bought that is supposed to aid you in building power cons, true ones, and speak ons, which I guess you're supposed to bolt this thing to your work surface, but anyway, I can't remember what this part number is. I'll uh, link it in the description. All right, so there's our power con side of things. Now for our true one, or I should say here at LM, we give you a four and a half inch piece of heat shrink. So you can put your own label on there. We're gonna have our clear piece for our ID logo. Of course, ABB, always be branding. If it can have LM on it, it will have LM on it. Okay, so this is, this is built now. This is a good opportunity for me to have YouTube redemption as far as true one connectors go. Um, in the beginning of COVID, when I started making YouTube videos in earnest, uh, one of the first things I built was a true one cable. And to this day, I still get roasted about building that cable. So I just wanna prove to everybody on the internet and every Reddit sub forum and Discord server that I know how to build a true one. <laughs> so here's what we have learned. From the factory, the True One connector comes with this back boot portion assembled already. Now they do that for good reason because this little black boot right here will poke through. So here's how we do this. I keep a little needle oiler of silicone oil. Um, and what I like to do is just put a little on there and put a little on here. And to do this without being sort of gross, and put a little bit of lube on there and a little bit of lube on there for moisturizing reasons. And then all you have to do is just shove this guy in and it will slide way easier. So once that's on the cable, take that off, put your chuck strain relief guy on there like that. And then the build procedure is exactly the same as the true one or as the, uh, excuse me, the power con now. So I'm sure there is probably some type of stripper that in, exists for SO cable. Uh, but again, I'm just living in this utility knife world. Just be careful when you're doing this that you don't plunge too deep and you score your internal conductors because that is not good. Um, I mentioned earlier in the video that I do have an Amazon shopping cart list. Um, I think honestly, if you're watching these videos, I do use the same tools over and over and over again. And one thing, the piece of, uh, I guess the tools that I use every single day that are the most amazing thing are like these $10 Klein side cutters. These are the most amazing tool ever. They're like 10 bucks. They saved my life. That and the catapult. And buy good scissors too. <laughs> there, there's my, my tool rants of the day. But these little Klein side cutters are just the most amazing thing ever. And they're so cheap. 
I have many, many sets of them. And I think this set that I'm using right now, is probably about five years old. I use them almost every day and they're still relatively sharp. Trim these guys off. Okay, um, and again, looking at the true wine, I mean, I've made a bunch of videos about this. You guys kind of know how they all work at this point, but um, uh, as, as far as these connectors go, I do like the true ones a lot. They are certainly the most durable uh, as far as the power connectors go. I think they just grab the cable in the best way. And they have a male and a female version, so it allows you to make extension cords, which I think are very cool. It kind of is a bummer that power cons don't do that, but um, as far as the history of Neutrik goes, I would guess that speak ons probably came first, and people probably modified them to run power down them, and Neutrik figured that out and said, hey, don't do that. That's unsafe. We'll make power cons. Again, I'm no Neutrik historian. I don't know, but I'm guessing it's probably like that. Anyway. When did you get this on? Same thing. N is neutral, L is hot, black, and uh, green is your ground. So all you have to do is just match this guy up so that it fits in the little grooves. This goes on. This goes on. Extra credit, use your tightening tool. Boom, and there you go. The cable is built. Now all we have to do is shrink down the LM logo. And there you go. The uh, PowerCon to True One adapter cable. Again, if you'd like to buy this from us, you can check the link in the, uh, in the description below. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Catch you on the next one. See ya.